Ooh, a chest. I'm gonna get some diamonds. Redstone. Looks like an arrow. Oh, there's a chest back here! What the heck? What? No! No! What? What? No! <laughs>Hey guys, Epicero11 here, and today we will be, uh, uh, or not we, well, you guys, as in, you guys will be watching me, <laughs> uh, build a redstone contraption, and that contraption is a drowner that, once activated, you can't shut off, can't close pistons, unless you're on the outside, and, yeah, so we'll get started. This is the whole contraption, <laughs> I'm sure you can make it a little more compact, but uh, I didn't do that because this was my first one, so this is the prototype, so I'm definitely sure you can make this more compact, but uh, I'm not one who likes to make things compact unless I have to. So what you saw in the previous clip was I went in here, looked in this chest, there was nothing but an arrow pointing towards redstone then there's a trapped chest back there I opened that to see if I could get any diamonds but uh, no what that actually did was activate this repeater which extended the length because a normal trap chest only like makes a redstone length of like one or two so I had to put a repeater there which extends the length and what happens how it makes it to where it doesn't like when you open and shut it to where these pistons don't just go all the way back down is okay so you ready so it goes down this redstone line goes down here and it activates all this obviously which activates the pistons same right there which releases those blocks that were down there up uh... releasing the water now instead of them going back down once you shut the chest well, it did this too. It all this did was pull blocks down, so uh, water didn't uh, water didn't like pour down this alley lane or anything. Um, so why it didn't uh, just close back? Obviously, when you close the chest, it'll shut the redstone length redstone off. And what allows that is this very simple contraption right here. Redstone hooked up. This is the same line that is uh, hooked up to the pistons and everything. Hooked up to this piston, which pushes base a redstone block, based basically a constantly activated redstone torch, onto this uh, redstone line. And when you close the chest, it pulls the piston back, but it's not a sticky piston, so it doesn't yank the block back. So that is what uh, allows this to completely function, or allows you not to be able to turn it off until you get, you have to break out of here, and yeah. So I'll be showing you how to make this, and yeah, we'll start right now. Okay, so we're going to start right here. We're going to take, we're going to need sticky pistons, we're going to need redstone, obviously. I don't think, yeah, you need redstone torches. Um, need, we won't use the regular piston yet. Um, let's just grab items as we go. Let's get a building material first. Something to build with, the main building block material. Okay, so you're going to need to dig a, well, you can make this as big as you want. Like, you can stretch this out or whatever. But we're just going to be doing pretty much that same thing over there. So you're going to dig three blocks down in a two by three block two by three radius okay so now you're gonna put p sticky pistons all down here so that way they'll be pushed up and yeah so now you're gonna put your sandstone right here although actually let's break this let's dig this out right here let's dig all that out Okay, so now we've got this. Got this nice looking piece of material. Okay, so now uh, let's dig out a little more right here. 
Okay, now, oh yeah, I forgot, repeaters. Repeaters are a big thing. Probably really more important than the torches. So you're going to have to hook those up right there. I guess you can do the same thing with uh, redstone, but uh, I just like to look at repeaters on pistons, sticky pistons. Okay, so now we're going to hook this up, connect all that, and actually right now we're going to need to make a little thing right here. This will be the hallway that you're walking down. Okay, so there's that. Okay, and then we can put the chest. And no, no, no. The floor's gonna go down right here, and then to where it won't let you out, you're gonna have to put. Um, you can make a whole wall of these or whatnot, but I'll just do it like this. I'll make it out of let's say coal ore just to show you here. Okay, and then that. Because these will be the blocks that are pushed in to pushed in like this, like so, so you can't get out. Okay, so we've got that. Now we're going to need to put piston here, here. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Not right there. Put a piston here and here and there. So those will push out, push those blocks out so you, there will be no escape. Okay, now I'm going to have to hook up a little contraption right here. Redstone torch is powering those to push those blocks up. Very simple. It's not even a contraption, really. Okay, so now the floor is pushed up. It just looks average. Just come back here and then there's that. Okay, um, I might have to put those out a little farther. Maybe not, no. Okay, now I'm going to build the, the walls up. Build these up. Make it go a little higher. Okay, now this can go right there, but I'm going to have to put blocks over. Make sure they're one block above. That way it allows water to release. Now we'll be building a little, I guess you'd call it a trough. To make little troughs, a little trough of water. Okay, so this is where your water's going to go. So you're going to want to put water all down in here. Make your little water troughs. Oh, no. Okay, I'm glad that didn't. Pour over. Okay, so right now we've got that. Okay, so now we're going to be setting the pistons down. Uh, which way do these pistons go? I think we go down, down. No, not right there. Okay, that goes down, that goes down. Um, crap, 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 crap. Ah! Oh! Are you freaking kidding me? That was stupid of me. Okay, put those back. Okay, now you've got those pistons right there, and oh, I'm going to empty that water for right now, just until I can get this done. Okay, now we put pistons here, here, and here. Wait, no, no, no. That was wrong. Oh, I put it above the water. Idiot. You put them above the blocks, I'm sorry. You put them above the blocks. Not the water, the blocks. Put the pistons above the blocks. So... I didn't actually have to do that. Okay, now you're gonna do that and put redstone torches like that, like so. Okay, now those pistons are pushed down. And when those red to redstone torches are deactivated, they'll be lifted those up, which will bring the water up like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna do that. And we're going to hook those up right there. I'm going to hook these up right there. I don't know why I did that. Okay. And these right here set to full de redstone delay. Set those to full delay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
wait, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so make sure those are set to full delay. Now, we're going to have to hook this up to a contraption. Okay, so get your, where is it, trap chest, trap chest. Or it can be a le levery, even. You can hook this up with anything that emits redstone signal. I don't care if it's a pressure plate or whatever. So let's set it right here. Okay, so that, actually... Let's set it up... Just like that other one. Let's set it up right here. It's where you're looking back and you're like... Oh, maybe it's a secret little compartment. Maybe that allows me to get uh, the items that, I, that it might give me. No, it's actually drowning you. Sorry, but it's drowning you. Okay, you can get rid of any excess if you wish. Oh, that wasn't excess. Get rid of any excess if you wish. Do that. Okay, so that's the lever. So that's the lever you'll be pulling. And you'll be like, ooh... This will give me items. No, it'll drown you. Okay, now we've got this fine, nice little contraption. So I think it's right there. So we'll set redstone right there. Okay, so first thing we need is we're going to need to shut these off. So obviously we're going to. Crap. Beeping. Crap. We're going to need. To shut that off. So we'll just build a little tunnel right there. A little tunnel right there. Okay, and we'll hook that up to that. Now we're going to have to do the same thing over here. Build a little tunnel that will allow it to go down. Okay, so now that's hooked up. So now when we pull that lever, it should it should only p push those blocks down. Okay, what's... Oh, I forgot to put a repeater because that length obviously won't be strong enough. Okay, so I'll put a repeater right there. Actually, I'll put it, I'll put it over here so it'll repeat some more lengths if I, if I have to use it. Over there. Ah! Actually, I'll put it right there. It doesn't really matter where you put it. It's just as long as everything works. <laughs> okay, so now that completely goes down. So let's flip that lever again. And it goes back up. Okay, so we have those hooked up. Now we need to hook that hook these pistons up. So let's put a block right there. Repeater here. And a repeater there. Okay, put one right there. Oh wait, no, it doesn't have to be like that. Like that. And then same thing on this side, only like that. And stretch it out. It's right there. Perfect. Now you're just going to hook this stuff up with redstone. And this can hook up to be right there. So actually... In this case, I am going to put the repeater over here to get maximum power length. Okay. Now do the same thing with this side. Great. Now let's test it out. Boom. Wait. Why isn't that working? Oh, duh. I didn't hook it up. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, let's break that. And flip the lever again. And put the coal back right there. Alright, so now we've got um, the floor being pulled down and we've got the coal being pushed out. So now we need to hook that up right there. And really, this is all you need. Let's just add an extra layer right there. And you can cover it up however you want. Like, I would prefer... Not doing that as coal, but as doing it as blending in with the environment, its surroundings. Okay, so now we hook these up. I'll line that up with redstone. And we're going to start making a staircase going down. Make that staircase. 
Okay, staircase going down. Oops. Going down, going down, going down. Okay. Now, we're just gonna run this redstone down here. Obviously, we're gonna have to repeat this length somehow. Okay. This is, I th I'd say, a more compact version than the one over there. I'm not sure. It just depends on how it all ends up, how it all turns out later, or once we're done. Okay. Now, we are going to hook this up right here. Can put that right there. And I'm going to extend the length, so let's just make sure one... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, perfect. Not perfect. It's semi perfect. Okay, hook that up. Okay, so that way it'll be able to stretch. Let's make sure that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, I think it's thirteen is the maximum redstone length. Okay, so now I think it's done, sort of. Boom! And now you drown. But now we have the problem. You can just hit that lever and it all, all crap. Oh, that almost turned out to be very badly. I'm just going to build this out just in case that happens again. <laughs> that almost just ruined the entire contraption. Let's make sure it still works. Boom! Okay, so you can't escape. You can't escape up there. Um, can't escape up there. So, but you can just flip that lever and you'll be able to escape. So, we don't want that happening. We want our victims to be dead. We want them to drown. Okay, so, in order to get them to drown, we're just going to hook up that little contraption I set up earlier. You need one piston and one block of redstone. And you just put that piston right here. And run it around with some redstone. And that's it. That is it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's all. Now, sadly, this can't work over and over again, obviously. You'll have to, once this piston is pushed out, I'll just show you in a second. Okay, so now when you flip the lever, boom! Water comes down. Oh no, flip the lever again. Oh crap, it didn't work. Wait. What just happened? What just happened? That worked right there. But why? Oh. Let's put it, just pop a repeater right there. Wonderful. But now, it pushes it out, and if you pull the lever, we'll just simply break the lever in this case. It will, that redstone block will continue to power everything. So, yeah. So in order to sh actually shut it off, you'll have to go back here. And you'll have to break that block. And then, to reset it, you just replace that block. And make sure the lever is turned off. And then put that back there. Then you can go back here and put that lever back. It's a very nice trap. And I'm sure you can make it, it will It would be much better underground, because people couldn't see a giant box if you built walls. People wouldn't see just that giant box sitting out on top of the ground, so this would work much better underground. Because it would be harder for them to find it, and then they would just walk back here. They'd say they'd be mining, they mine, and they're like, hey, look, a lever. And they pull that lever, and you saw what happened, so... And replace that stuff with sandstone. So that is how you do it. That is the simplest and most efficient drowning trap I have made. I'm sure there's better ones, more compact ones, ones that work more efficiently out there, but this is just how I made mine. So I guess that ends the video, guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for future videos. Give it a thumbs up in the rating. And as always, peace out, guys.